Hey guys and girls, Rajat here. So have you received that pre-screening coding test where the company wants you to write a simple application using a framework of your choice? So in today's video, I'm going to give you several pointers and tips about how you can approach this coding challenge. So let's start with my very first tip and that is create the mock-up based on the specifications provided by the company in their coding test because once you have that mock-up ready you can have a visual clue about what you need to build and what tools will be good for building such a solution so always create a mock-up and always try to go through the entire specification provided by the company so as to like scrutinize everything that is there in your mock-up so as to ensure that whatever you are going to work on from now on is as per the specifications my second tip would be do not try to accommodate too many technologies which you are not aware of so let's suppose you have been given a coding challenge about uh, using redux and react in your application and you need to build an application based on those two frameworks but to put together that application you also need something like a database or something like an api or some sort of design pattern my suggestion would be to just not use way too many technologies that you are not aware of which means that if you are uh, incorporating a testing library which you have never used in your day-to-day development workflow and you are going to use that library for the very first time in this coding challenge do not also try to incorporate a database which you have never used always fall back to the libraries which you have used earlier so that you know where to look for in case you are stuck and what sort of application and program can be designed with those frameworks or libraries or technology of your choice so do not just pick up way too many things that you are just not aware of so do not try to pick up uh, a database you are not aware of a library you are not aware of a api you are not aware of all at the same time to build your product because in that case you are going to run around way too much and you will always uh, find yourself lacking at the knowledge part okay so just try to incorporate one or two technologies you are not aware of and always fall back to the technologies you know like the back of your hand my third tip would be always try to incorporate tests from the get-go which means that as soon as you are writing something you need to write tests for that piece of code because if you are under an assumption that you are going to write some test at the later point of time when the application has started working uh, you can take it from me that you will not be motivated enough to write tests because then you will think that your application is working fine why will you write some test cases because and even if you force yourself into writing some test cases those test cases will not actually address the core requirement of testing and you will find yourself writing those test cases just for the heck of it so in case you want to really exhibit your art of writing tests make sure you follow this uh, approach tdd or bdd which is test driven development and behavioral development from the get-go and write the test because while you are at it you know in how many cases your particular code can fail you know all the edge cases but if you try to come back to your code later on you might be forgetful you might have forgotten several edge cases which you were aware of when you were writing that code so in order to you know mitigate all of those issues make sure you set up your test from the get-go and you keep on incorporating the tests which are essential for checking some edge cases and all from the very start and you keep on adding to those test cases as the project progresses my fourth tip would be to plan your time which means that you have to be sure that you are going to devote this much time last time i did a, a coding challenge i devoted almost 1.5 days to it and i knew that it was an overkill to waste that time or to you know put that time into something which is not always guaranteed to give me result but you know i did not plan my time properly and i think that you should be well aware of the time constraint you have to impose on yourself to get the project done do not uh, you know 
waste your time into making things pretty and all i'm not saying that you should you know throw everything in one uh, ginormous uh, application and you should not think about the aesthetic part you should but do not waste uh, way too much time into chiseling out the edge cases or the corner cases which are not very important to the display of your technical ability so there are some must have and there are some nice to have always focus on the must have part and always make sure that those must have parts are taken care of but if you do not have much time do not just care about the nice to have nice to have are well just nice to have they are not super important so you can just you know care less about this so always plan your time so those were my four tips about how to approach this whole coding challenge problem and in case you have some other pointers which the community can benefit from make sure you chime in with your opinions and suggestions in the comment section and in case you are new here we talk about software development and everything related to computer science on this channel on a weekly basis so make sure you subscribe to this channel in case you like this video do not forget to give this video a thumbs up and i'll see you around take care bye bye